I've been uh, busy as always. I'm always busy, it seems like. And everybody is. Uh, but uh, no, a lot of shows I kind of picked. I was doing the last six months or so with all solo shows. And so we picked up with the band again this month. So I got the band regrouped. And uh, we've been doing that. It's been like super fun shows. And other than that, just living up in Vermont and trying to have a home life and trying to keep up with myself. I started skateboarding when I was like... 12 maybe or something I went to I went to Jimmy O'Brien's birthday party and it was a sleepover and uh, my other friends there my friend Shane was there who still skates uh, and they all skated and they had an extra board I think it was like a I think it was a Jeff Phillips board. it was like all beat up thrashed and uh, I don't know I just started doing it then and I've been into it ever since I was never you know I'm, I'm, I've, I've never been like a huge skate rat like I've never lived that lifestyle of like a skate every day you know like but my friends would skate every day, and I would go across town and skate with them, like, every week or something, you know. But I was always into it, and uh, I still do it. So now it's been happening for, you know, 30 years of my life or something. And so it's something that's still there, and I just bought a cruiser, and I love it. And I finally, I've always wanted a board like that. But it's, uh, I love skateboarding. I mean, I've, I've had a subscription to Thrasher Magazine since 1989, and I've saved every single issue that I have. Had, had that I've gotten since then so I have a lot of those uh, but I just love it skating is like you know it's expression you know it's, it's something I never like found a knack for it where I was like really good at it but I love doing it I learned the lesson the hard way last summer I jumped I was like with my old buddy Shane we were going we just uh, I live right near the skate park in, in Burlington Vermont where I live and uh, we were going to breakfast I was like let's just jump in the park and take a run I was skating for like 30 seconds and I wasn't really doing much, but I fell and broke part of my shoulder. So I learned, like, I was like, oh, and I had a gig. Like, I, I ended up only missing one gig. But it kind of spooked me out a little bit where it's like, yeah, I have to use my hands for my for my job, and, and, I, and I don't really want to mess with that. So, But, I, I mean, I, I wear wrist guards and stuff when I skate. And, you know, I, like I'm saying, I take it easy. But even so, it's like I was taking it easy that day at the park, and you never know. You just got to be mindful. I was literally just doing a kick turn on a quarter pipe I've done a million times and just turning around, and I slipped. And <laughs> So I got to be careful. So I'm a, little, I'm a little spooked out these days. It's not Again, it's not like I, you know, skate so much or something that I have to do it, but uh, I love doing it. So I'm getting back on my board more, you know. I have, my, I have that cruiser and stuff. Uh, Burlington's great. I, I mean, I tell people, people ask me why I moved to Burlington, and I tell them, uh, like I see all the places from touring and that's the best place so I went there <laughs> you know like and I, I mean because I'm from Boston so it's only like three hours from there or something north of Boston where, I, where I'm from and, um, and I would see it touring through the years and every time I would go I'd be like I could live here you know it's like it's just really nice and, um, and uh, yeah I have bounced around a lot in recent years kind of looking for a home and that place like makes me feel at home I see that lake and I just get grounded and it feels like a community. People are friendly. It feels like places I go out west or different places. It's just like to still be in New England and live in this beautiful community on the lake, you know. It's got the skate park. It's got the bike path. It's like just fun stuff to do. Friendly people. I have a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot because I've been touring a lot solo, acoustic, which I've always done. And then with the band, so I'm doing that too. And I have my duo, with, which is uh, with Haley Jane, which is Yes Darling which is a totally different project. It's like totally different songs. and So we have a lot in the works with that. We're kind of trying to build our whole show up into this bigger production, this bigger kind of play, and we're going to shoot some music videos. And um, There's a lot in the works. You know, I got a great team behind me these days, so the touring, it's like shows are selling out and stuff. It's, 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 it's pretty gratifying, you know. So kind of just, it's these days it's a mix of like, I'm still working really hard and still out there doing my thing and then when I'm not I'm really trying to find some balance and some home for once and get grounded and just like some balance you know and try to have a home life so that's exciting to me that's something I haven't had like all these years on the road um, so you know there's like a nice balance happening it's gotta be a human being you know it's it's hard to adjust getting off the road and being home like you've just been on the road seeing all these places Hopefully there were crowds. They're giving you back this energy. And you're meeting people. You're playing, and you're doing all this, and you're driving a million miles. And then you get home, and there's just like a lot, there's a lot of activity. And then you get home, and you're sitting alone in your kitchen, just like wondering 
where everybody is, where, what, you know, where's all this energy that was just coming back to me. So it can be really hard to like just adjust, you know, so that, so I know now it's like, we, we call it, uh, I have a good therapist now, you know, it's like, and so that first day when I get back is called my dip day. I know I'm going to dip. I know it's going to like feel weird. And then once I get over that, it's okay, but you just got to know it's coming. But it's a, it's a weird adjustment, you know. I do think it's important to have a hobby outside of music where music is my job. I just don't know that I have one. <laughs> it's like I spent so much time playing music and just, you know, just writing songs and just getting this whole thing together and making, trying to make a living at it and that I, there's not a lot of time for other things. But so it's like, you know, I moved to Vermont, so it's like I, I go snowboarding when I can and I'll skate when I can, you know, or I'll just take a walk by the lake and just chill out. and. I do think it's super important to have a hobby, but I think is it's hard. I, I I can't like you know. I wish I like was like building model ships or something or guy. If I don't have it, like so I'm looking for it. So if anybody has any suggestions, um, yeah.